Hi there, I am Smuti Ranjan. Welcome to my channel where I am going to take you through all that you need to become a photographer. Let me start with the basics. There are three important factors which makes a uh, good exposure. Uh, aperture, shutter speed and ISO. Sounds complicated, right? Don't worry. I am going to keep my uh, videos very easy, very simple for you to understand. So, um, let me show you. So, I have a digital camera in my hand. You can see in, uh, there is an opening in the lens. So, this opening allows the travel of light inside the camera. This opening is called as aperture. In the uh, camera, there is a uh, shutter uh, which controls the, the amount of light that travels to the camera. Believe me, I can control the uh, shutter for how long I want to keep it open. That is called the shutter speed. And I have a sensor in the camera and the sensitivity of the, of, of the sensor is called ISO. So today in this lecture, I am going to talk about aperture. So those who are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't uh, miss my future videos. And uh, please do visit to my Insta handle Smruti Ranjan underscore photography where you will find really some cool wildlife photographs. So without losing much time, let's get started. Aperture is the opening that allows the travel of light to your camera. Now if the uh, aperture uh, opening is increased, that allows more light brightening your image. If the aperture um, opening is uh, brought down, then the, the light travels through it will come down which will darken your image. Let me explain you with this example. To ease your understanding, let me take this picture to explain. Uh, from left to right, you can see the size of the aperture opening is decreasing, which in turn reduces the light entering to the camera. The leftmost aperture allows more light, which results in a brighter image. As we move towards right, the light entering the camera decreases as the aperture opening goes down resulting in a darker image. So how do you control your aperture? You can control the size of your aperture by changing f-stop in your camera. You can find f-stop number here in your camera screen. Let me show you. So let me show you how to change the aperture that is f-stop in your camera. I have a, an icon uh, uh, D5200 in my hand where in the screen you can see this is where you can see the F number. F number. And I have a dial here. If I change the if I uh, change the dial you can see the F stop uh, is getting changed. So this is how I change my F stop to control my aperture. Let us try to understand the mathematics behind f-stop. f-stop is equals to focal length of the lens divided by the aperture opening of the lens. You can see the f-stop is inversely proportional to the aperture opening which means when the f-stop increases the aperture opening decreases and vice versa. Please refer to the aperture scale which shows as the aperture size decreases, f-stop increases. Also it is important to remember that every previous f-stop allows twice as much light as the 
nest one. For example, F 1.4 allows twice the amount of light that F 2 does and so on. One of the important feature I can achieve through changing this aperture is depth of field. I am sure you guys have been waiting for this uh, section of my lecture. So let us understand what is depth of field and how depth of field is, is, is being achieved through aperture. Let's go ahead. What is depth of field? Uh, depth of field is the distance between the nearest and the farthest object in a scene that appears sharp in an image. As you can see when I change my aperture, my depth of field also gets changed. As my f-stop value goes down, aperture size goes up and my depth of field decreases and vice versa. To get the blurry effect in your image you need to restrict your focus to a particular object within your image and the rest can be kept out of focus this is achieved with less f-stop number and the effect is called cello depth of field let me take you through an field example i have kept two idols on floor you can see both are in focus as I have kept my f-stop high at f22 I am getting a wide depth of field where more area in the image are in focus whereas if I reduce my f-stop say f4.5 you can see only one idol is getting in focus and the ideal at the backside is out of focus this is known as cello depth of field where i could restrict my focus to one subject and the rest are out of focus that brings a blurry effect to the background this cello depth of field is achieved as i have kept my f-stop number low let us summarize what we learned today uh, aperture aperture is the hole or the opening in the lens that allows the travel of light to the camera. I can change my aperture opening through f-stop. If I increase the f-stop, my opening comes down and when I decrease my f-stop, my opening goes up. Now I learned one more uh, uh, concept or feature, uh, a feature called as depth of field. Depth of field is nothing but the portion of the image that is in focus. Now by changing the f-stop I can control the depth of field. If I increase my f-stop my depth of field becomes wider and when I decrease uh, my f-stop my uh, depth of field be uh, becomes uh, cello and called as cello depth of field. So to, to bring the blurry effect in your background you have to use cello depth of field concept where you have to keep your f-stop low keeping your opening that is the aperture high uh, so with that we came to a conclusion of my video hope you all have enjoyed my video please like subscribe and share my channel please stay tuned to my next video till then thank you bye